Usopp, the brave coward, the prophetic liar, when will he finally have his time to shine? Usopp D. Liar. You see, when it comes to our favorite long nose sniper, I always wonder, when is he gonna get his glow up? When it comes to all the straw hats, there is no one I root for more than the God himself. But is this just headcanon? During the creation of this video, we have not yet been to Alpath, but it's around the corner, honestly. But when we do reach the land of the giants, Will we be disappointed at the end of the arc to see that Usopp is still Usopp? Will some of us feel the same way that others felt in Wano when it was not a Zoro-centric arc, or even Frankie's for that matter, especially finding out that Pluton was underneath the island somewhere? Well, the one thing we all know is that there is no other straw hat that's talked about going to a particular island like Usopp has talked about going to Albaf. I mean, Usopp has talked about Elbaf more than Luffy has talked about going to Laugh Tale. And that's supposedly the island he has to go to become the Pirate King. So in a way, going to Elbaf is practically Usopp's secondary dream. So here's what I'm asking. What could Oda have in store for our long no sniper? Has Oda been dangling that Elbaf carrot in front of our noses for no reason? What could he possibly learn or experience in Elbaf that will turn the tables and propel him towards his dream of actually becoming a brave warrior? Honestly, I don't see him getting there by having a typical battle where he has to defeat an opponent that's stronger than himself. Literally every opponent he's ever faced is stronger than him. We have seen him face and conquer his fears many times. I mean, whether he was right or wrong about fighting Luffy at Water 7, that is literally the definition on standing on business. Time in and time out, we see Usopp fall back to his old ways. So, what could it be? When are you going to transform into the true god that we know you are, Usopp? Perhaps Usopp needs to experience something unprecedented, something that's never happened before. So let's go over some more things that we know about Usopp and his goals and dreams. We know that Usopp has had this dream to become a brave warrior. We know that he's had this dream even before reaching Little Garden and meeting the giant duo. We know that most, if not all his lies and tales end up becoming reality. And most importantly, we know that he's talked about his death. Yeah, people always want to forget about that one, right? Although it's a popular theory, especially for me, I love the idea that Usopp's dream and goal might be the very last thing he ever does. But sacrificing his life to save one of his Nakama is something only I could see happening towards the end of the story, honestly. What I think would be peak is if Usopp learned a new attack or received a formidable weapon. Shouts out to my boy Evil Chef on TikTok for first planting the theory in my head first. Could Usopp receive One Piece's version of Mjolnir? Usopp has been known to use a hammer himself. Plus, Elbaf is heavily associated with Norse mythology. Not to mention the fact that the leader of Elbaf is a man called Loki. You see, in Norse mythology, he is a god of mischief and a trickster. Could Elbaf's fate rely on the art of crafting the most convincing lie between these two? I mentioned Usopp learning a new attack for a reason. I've been saying for years that I hope by the end of Elbaf, Usopp has learned the Hakaku Sovereignty. Hold on, hold on. Not the same attack that obliterates gargantuan fish or pirate ships. But maybe like a mini Hakaku Sovereignty. Yeah, that might be a stretch. But I'm rooting for you, Usopp. I really am. And I want you to receive that glow up you so desperately deserve. Like I said earlier, we've seen numerous times that Usopp has shown the courage to face his fears. Maybe Usopp is the only straw hat to have already achieved his dream. Maybe Usopp's character arc is already complete. The answer has been right underneath our noses this whole time. Usopp is, and always has been, a brave warrior of the sea.